Hiya folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to and review music of all kinds. Today we'll be checking out Contingency Contract 3, Operation Cinder. Now, I've heard that there's some controversy surrounding some versions of this song from the past and things like that. I believe this version is the normal version that plays in the lobby, but I guess you guys can let me know in the comments afterwards. But if you've got anything else you'd like me to check out, make sure you throw that down in the comments as well. And, uh... Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe too because it helps the channel grow and also helps me know that you guys are enjoying the stuff that I'm making and I have a reason to continue making it. And I'm going to keep going through all the contingency contracts until I've listened to them all because they've all been exceptional so far. And I'm really curious to see what this actually sounds like uh, because I have no idea. Arcanized music could be anything, <laughs> absolutely anything. And it just continues to blow me away how crazy they all are. So without further ado, let's check out Operation Cinder. It's a fantastic voice and a very like airy um celestial music in the background there like very spacey i guess you could say like very airy synth very cool though i'm curious to see where this will go because it seems like it's building to something crazy and i guess we'll see <laughs> This is beautiful so far. Like, it definitely, the background melody, like that synth coming in almost sounds like, it reminds me of like the Tron soundtrack a little bit. Uh, but also, like, overall, this kind of, like, the main thing I'm getting a comparison to in my mind is, uh, like, the themes or the music from um, Ghost in the Shell. Like, I absolutely love Standalone, Com uh, Standalone Complex, as well as uh, just the main series, like the movies and stuff. And they're all very, like, kind of airy synth and, like, electronic kind of cyberpunk style music and uh the kind of airy vocals as well like it also reminds me a bit of like uh fka twigs or like image and heap and stuff like that with the vocals uh very again very airy very kind of uh again i don't know like it's strange to have like such an indirect style of vocals uh but it works so well for something like this along with the synth and the uh yeah, the different layers of synth i guess you could say but it's very, very cool, very interesting. And again, once again, very, very unique compared to all the other Arcanized music I've listened to. It's like no two of these songs are the same and even the same genre, it seems like. But it's very cool because I love variety. <laughs> Keep it up. 
was a really cool breakdown. The synth for that part almost felt like more like Mass Effect music. <laughs> like it's really cool how it's shifting up so dynamically and so interestingly, and the the way that there was like the vocals like just uh like vocalizations in the background while the singing was also going on just helped add even more to it and just keep it more dynamic and interesting and it sounded really really good like this is fantastic so far still got a little bit left let's keep going <laughs> a strong vocalist to be able to sing this way and like hit those notes as well like that takes a lot of skill and it's crazy just how interesting it is and the way that they like brought everything down to like almost nothing it was almost silent there for a few seconds that's why i kind of had to check like is the song over because i wasn't sure and then they kind of now bring it back up and just it very much fits this whole theme of this song like it seems very uh again very ethereal very eerie very strange but very beautiful like, it's really cool. <laughs> Curious how it'll end. It's like the type of melody you would hear in like the background in some kind of like haunted area or some kind of like place where something bad has happened but you're not sure what or something like that like it's really cool also reminiscent reminiscent of some like near automata music uh i still haven't played replicant yet maybe uh when i stream <laughs> this is before i stream so i don't know yet if i played it yet but i probably will anyways very cool music uh and again so unique so diverse like they're, I love how they always take chances with new things, it seems like, and it, they're just picking from any number of different genres and every different, any, any number of different styles, and they always kill it every single time. Like, they're just such skilled musicians and creators and stuff like that, composers, that they're able to make such fantastic stuff no matter what genre they're picking, no matter what area they're picking. And again, I don't know if they, like, go out and find different artists specifically for each different song, or if they have a, like, dedicated team who comes in and, like, makes these mu the songs from different styles and stuff like that but either way it's exceptional like it's such high quality and so diverse that like every single one i listen to just blows me away with how unique it is and how interesting it is and how good it sounds as well like this one sounded amazing so well done <laughs> anyways thanks for hanging out watching my reaction if you liked it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and until next time later days folks I'm not too safe, I'm sorry, I'm